Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today we are outside of Gamer World finally and we're in the real world and I have this jar and we're gonna go looking for some ant lions. If you know what those are, there's the little things that make these holes right here. I've already been looking for a little bit. I found some over there on the other side of my yard, but all of them were abandoned and we're gonna look for some more. I saw some big ones over there and there's a lot over here. So we're gonna get to looking. Hole number one. This one's pretty small, but all you gotta really do to look for one, you can either just poke it, make it a little very small dent, and there's a chance they'll come out. I haven't gotten them to come out in like five years. <laughs> so we're gonna go back. We're just gonna scoop it. I think I scooped enough. And if you check the pile, sometime you should be able to feel the ant line pushing along. Yeah, there he is right there. My first try. You see him right there? He's digging back into the dirt. Okay, we're going to get him. Put him in the jar. Actually, maybe not yet. Maybe this should be like a, a catch and release mission. We're going to put him over here in the dense area and go back was that him that i dropped i don't think so dump him in that pile there's that finish master got me working something else to set me free hole number two there's so many great options but we're gonna look for the biggest one and the biggest one's got to be in this pile right here we got this really deep one right there we got, mm, we got that really wide one. This one's pretty wide too. That one's in the mid range. That one's just deep, but not like wide at all. <laughs> and this one's got a little plant growing out of it. And I don't see any activity, but who cares? Let's go for it. Ready? Three, two, one, go. I might have not grabbed it with that because I didn't get very far in before I reached a layer that my hands can't go through. I just wait. I wish his little head popped out somewhere. Guess he wasn't home. Oh, oh. oh I see him. I don't see him, but I, I just saw him kick some dirt at me. And personally, I wouldn't let that slide. Oh, my God. He's trying to get away. Got him. Caught him. Let's go. Sorry if the camera work is bad. I'm paying more attention to like the actual stuff than I am my phone. Probably what I should not be doing. You, you see him moving? Let's try and get the dirt away so we can see him. Because I can't see him right now. Come on, dude, come out. Oh, there he is. Get out of there. Dang, this one's thick. Dang, big mama. All right, let's move him in here. Actually, I need to gather some dirt first. Yes, this one's another catch and release. It doesn't really matter. They don't really go anywhere. Adios, little buddy. See you later. Oh, they flipped over. Where, where is he in real life? I can only see him on the camera. Oh, there you are. Oh, he flipped back over. I'll give you a little pet. I kind of just helped him dig more into the dirt. All right. Bye-bye. I know a lot of people are going to be saying, hey, that's not very bioactive. That doesn't have a lot of springtails or animals in it. Well, currently, I don't care. All of the bioactive stuff is over there by that big tree and where all the leaves, dead leaves are, so the springtails can eat. But right now, I just care about making pretty little antlion holes in this little jar. And maybe a flower, too. And I'm just going to... Have it as a pet and put ants in there. I don't know if that's how it works, but um, you can't succeed unless you fail a few times. What's your little baby? Little baby. Oh, you're so cute. Hole number three. I found this really cool one earlier. 
right here. So we're gonna go maybe both of these, but we're gonna go with the the big one first. This time we're gonna catch and take. So we're not letting this big fat one go. Usually it's the big fat ones who make the really wide holes. Yeah, it makes sense. All right, three, two, one, go. On, oh, dude, where'd you go? Dude, when did you get there? What? Let me pet you real quick. Give me a little pet. Oh, my baby. Oh. Just let me pet him on, oh, that's so nice. Got him, got him, nope. Wait, Mike, caught the little bug out. Get in there. Dig or die, my boy. Oh, wait, that is so pretty. Nice little design. Oh, yeah, you see the things that look like eyes on the back? It's to scare away um, predators, I'm pretty sure. At least that's what I heard. Look at the jaws. Sorry my hand isn't steady. Oh my god. Should just hold the phone with two hands. And then in a little bit, he's going to start kicking. Uh, and he's going to go in circles around and make his hole. Hi, what a... I really like these pretty little plants right here. So we're gonna take some of these with the shovel. I'm gonna dig this off camera because I'll actually feel like using two hands with this little baby shovel and not have to carry the camera. Back off little puppy. I did some off camera mining and accidentally made an ecosystem. All right, that's some, uh, whatever it's called, lava rock plants. This one's not falling over. It's roots are straight up but the plant is kind of bent because you know how small it is piece of wood in there and soon we're gonna add um roly polies i don't know if they can survive in this um dirt and also i think our antlion and antlion might have died so we're gonna go grab another one he might have gone lost in in the catacombs down here all these empty spaces he might have fallen down there wouldn't wish that fate upon him but um guess it happened off we go and search for some roly-polies or isopods if you want to be a nerd as most people know you can usually find them under pieces of wood like this there was some last time i was here probably not any under this because this was barely lifted up but usually in this part of my yard i find plenty usually under rotting pieces of wood to be more exact and be very careful because sometimes you'll find ants and most of the time they're the little baby ants that crawl very, crawl very fast that one's kind of scary that one looks like it's gonna have spiders under it but uh. oh that's a spider no really police gonna be under here ants 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 like i said be careful, look here. Just to show you guys how dangerous that is. Look at all those little ants right there. They're probably already coming up to my feet. I'm out. Always beware of ants because they're always near the ant line holes. Just keep that in mind. It makes sense if you think about it. Hi, little baby. What's your little girl? How about over here? Most of these haven't been moved in a long time. Oh my god! Oh, oh it scared me. Look at that beetle right there. He's a big boy. He starts stinking soon. Come under here. Tell me, what is that? I want it. I caught it. I caught it. I don't know what it is. It's gonna bite me, probably. Did I drop it? I freaking dropped it. Ooh, I caught it. And look what it is. It's a metallic kind of beetle. We're gonna bring it in. Get in there. I think I got it in there. I heard a plop. Where'd he go? There he is over there. Look at him. Oh, he's digging. 
You got this? Stop digging at my plant roots. Quit it. Quit that. Go somewhere else. Thank you. All right, everyone. That concludes my episode of Mega Meal Goes Outside. We caught a beetle. A mysterious beetle that I didn't even know, know was going to be there. We caught a single antlion. We got two plants, like four seashells, a piece of wood, lava rock. We got everything we need except for springtails and roly polies. I'm probably not going to find them because it's getting into summer and it's freaking hot. Um, I'm probably going to replace the, I mean, the antlion that was in here. But... I'll do that off camera and I might just update it if I find anything else cool. So I'll see you guys later. And then in the next video, we're going to be adding a water feature.